This is a new EV brand, Arm Motors. It is a product of SAIC Motor and Alibaba. SAIC is the largest automaker in China, and Alibaba is one of the largest technology company in China. They have joined the force to create the brand Arm Motor. Today, we will introduce the brand Boaster Car, the IM. L7. At first glance, the L7 is wide and height is low, with a sports car-like shape. The L7 has a very low jack efficiency of 0.21. It has the third highest dry coefficient of all the production models in the world. Most electric cars nowadays are similar in design. This and the stainless door, and all through tail light. The front LS L7 is distinctive design. The daytime running light have a very exhausted shape. You can see this. It looks like the that one, the Sigma. You know that one, the, the Sigma. The highlights are split between the high and the low beam underneath the high, high lamps. And there are customers light areas with LEDs. And when I use a pipe mode, a dog animations are paired on the side. The L7 is a 5.1 meter long with a well base of three meters. The baseless door, you can see here. The bezel-less door and the console door handles and the copy like the body shape. This car is the dynamic version with a um, 19 inch the wheel and the caliper of the of it is a bramble, but it's covered by, by this one. And it's an uh, orange color, very nice and sporty. Let's come into the rear. The wide end, very this wide end, and this tail light looks like very like the Aston Martin. This wide design is because that it has different front and rear type wise. The front one is two four five, and the rear one is. 275. This design only found on some sports car. The end of the L7 is also very simple, although it has the usual all through tail light of an electric cars. You can see on the other electric cars. It combines the rear spoiler and the tail lights together. Underneath the tail light, is an area that with the LEDs. It can show different customized graphics. And the trunk switch is designed very cleverly. You can find where is it. It's clever integrated into the logo. Here, just open the button. It's an electric door. For a 5.1 meter car, we don't need to worry about the chunk volume. Also this one. And the depth of the chunk is very deep. You can see this one. 
and it can hold several suitcases when you want to travel around. These photos are all electric suction dolls. It's soft touch, close and open. Just to put the buttons, you can see the door just opened. And when I open the door and send into the interior room. The first things you feel when you sit inside the L7 is the big screen in the front, this three, and the large front screen is 39 inch and provide basic information about vehicles and navigations. Yeah, to play. And next to the screen is this one. This is for the passengers. It provides entertainment and screen costing. For the passenger, both front screens are liftable, with both screen lowered, and the entire wheel is enhanced. And the middle screen is a central control of this one. The overall UI design is also very simple. There is also a lot of storage space for the bikes underneath. You can put some bikes here. And this is the first time I've seen a glasses case underneath the screen. Behind the screen is a wireless charging. Here I'm now charging this car key. And you also can put your phones here. Uh, it uh, it's slightly going down when you put the key or the uh, your iPhones or your phones here. It slightly is going down. It also improvise the phone from the sleeping off when driving. And I'll pull back this armrest. There are two cup holders. And the armrest box also has a very large volume. And sitting in the car, you can see most of the buttons are touch buttons. Like this one, this part, and these uh, windows controls, and all these buttons. There's a backlight display and a vibrating feedback when pressed. Okay. You can see this song. The second row of L7 is very spacious and with a wheelbase of 3.1 meters. You can see this space. And there are two Type C charging ports here and an armrest. And I'll put down the mid middle armrest. There's two cup holders here. And when you just uh, use the bottom and put it down, there's a rack just left. And when you want to put it back, just lift the rack up and it will get into the original area. How do you think the space of the second row of L7? The L7 0 to 100 km per hour acceleration is 3.87 seconds. It is equipped with a twin motor and four wheel drive system. The maximum power up to 4 to 5 kilowatt and a maximum torque of it is 7 to 5 newton meters. There are three models. The standard, there are three models you can see standard, comfort, and sport. The softness of the chassis and the feedback from the steering wheel can be changed when you're choosing these three models. In addition to these three models, there is also a supercar sports models. The supercar sports models here, when I just push buttons, 
When the super sports modem is switched on, the screen and drops, and the entire environment that adjusts with a feeling of the speed. There is also a simulated super car exhaust sound. This is combined with a rear view steering system and mixed with the voice of front and the rear. And the volume was WAE turning, just like a snake moving, stick to the ground and rapidly and agilely. The IMID intelligent driving system enables all around aut autonomous driving, 12 ultrasonic radars, and 11 high definition sensing cameras. Five millimeter wave radar, two high precision positioning units. What do you think this one? The IML7, and it will will be a fan of the new ET7 or the IML7. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel. If you want to watch a comparisons between this IML7, ET7, please comment below. Thank you.